welcome dears my self silk here in this section we learn how do we derive formula for area calculation of inequality triangle remember inequality triangle is just a triangle having all sides equal to each other in length and the formula for this approach we use as of course square root 3 divided by 4 times a square here our approach is to derive this formula to derive this formula, we turn this inequality triangle into two right angle triangles like in this palm. This perpendicular line just divides the triangle into two right angle triangles like triangle 1 and triangle 2. Also this line divides the base of this triangle like a by 2 and a by 2. Remember the area of these two triangles will be just of course 1 half times a times h. Here is the side of the triangle h is the perpendicular of this triangle or the height of the given triangle. Let's consider the triangle one for this moment. Remember, according to Pythagorean's theorem, the square of the longest side of the right angle triangle will be just of course the sum of the square of the remaining sides like h square plus a by 2 square. Remember, our approach is to determine the height of this triangle. So we turn a by 2 square to another side of the equation. So we get a square minus a by 2 square equals h square. Or you can say h square equals do some math with the left hand side of the equation. We get of course 3a squared divided by 4. We just remove the square from the h. That's why we put square roots on both sides like in this palm. We get h equals square root 3a squared divided by 4. Or h equals square root 3 divided by 2 times a. So this is just the height of this equilateral triangle. We put this value in the power formula like the area equals 1 half times a times h. h is just square root 3 divided by 2 times a. Do some maths. We'll get of course the area equals square root 3 divided by 2 times 2 is just of course 4 and a times a is just of course a square. So we got of course area equals square root 3 divided by 4 times a square. So now you can use this formula for an equilateral triangle area calculation. And this is it. Of course we have proved it. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time. Hello, salam.